Good evening everybody. This video is a beginner's guide to creating ASMR videos. In this instance this video isn't for the purpose of ASMR triggers but rather just helpful hints and tips and step-by-step -step guide as to how to create an ASMR video. This is useful for absolute beginners those that are interested or just curious as to how ASMR videos are actually put together. So we shall begin then. In front of me is the majority, if not all, the equipment that I would use in any ASMR video. Aside from the obvious is missing, which is my camera, because obviously I'm filming from it. In fact, I'll just show you that briefly to start off with. So, this is the Canon 600D. I think it goes by other names in different countries. But this is a useful camera because it's got a viewfinder so I can see what I'm filming. That comes in very useful. So, Back to the equipment then. The first thing you will need when you're first getting started would be any filming device that films in at least 720p, I would say, because that is HD, so that will be more than sufficient. Therefore, you by no means need to start off with a DSL, DSLR camera. A phone with a camera on it would be more than sufficient. So in this case I'm just exhibiting my iPhone 5S. When it comes to iPhones, a 5S or above will be perfectly fine because the back camera, as you're seeing now, films in 720p. Bear in mind the front facing camera is not ideal as it doesn't film in HD. I know it is tempting because you can see what you're filming. However, for the purpose of HD quality, remember to film using the back camera. Now, if you don't have a camera, then that's perfectly fine. If you're filming from a phone, then what you will need will be some kind of iPhone clasp for tripod on eBay or something. Is about two pounds to purchase and you just put that on that and then all tripods come with an attachment at the top so you can attach it so that's the first thing you need is a filming device whether a camera or a phone second would be a tripod so that you don't have to film well you don't have to hold the camera. So these come very cheap, They're, you can get them for about £10-£15 online. They're easily accessible as well. They extend out so you can adjust it to the height of your subject and it makes it easy for you to film yourself. So if you're really just getting started out, that's really all you'd need. Bear in mind the iPhone 5S and above, I can safely say that the audio quality is definitely sufficient. Don't think that it's inferior just because it's a phone. I have been selling phones for two years, so I do know myself. And the microphone noise isn't loud, so it is definitely a sufficient microphone to get started. However, if you wanted to branch out and expand your horizon with audio quality, then what I've got personally is the Zoom voice recorder. I got this for about £100 online. Now this films, uh, sorry, records in stereo if you're using it by itself. It's pretty self-explanatory really. There's an on button at the side and then you just press record twice for it to start recording. 
recording the sound. We just need an SD card which goes inside here. If you want to create binaural sounds, then it's definitely worthwhile investing in a binaural microphone. Now, we're all familiar with the top-notch ones, but this one I've got personally is the Soundman in-ear stereo microphones. So, again, I got this for about £100 online, and each earphone records both the left and the right. The red records the right side and the blue records the left. So in fact that'd be the opposite way around if I was actually recording audio on that. Um, and in order to take advantage of the binaural effect, obviously you need to plug it into somewhere. So this is where the Zoom microphone works as a good adapter for that. In fact, I'll just show you that now, so just bear with me. To use the Zoom voice recorder in particular, you can turn it on at the side here. And then to record the binaural sounds with whatever microphone of choice you have, go to Menu here at the side and use the scrolling button to navigate you need to go all the way down to input and then down to the bottom where you choose the uh, device as on and then you just want to plug that in and then you're ready to record binaural sounds this took a bit of trial and error with me this is why I'm giving you a straightforward tutorial now because for the longest time I thought I was recording in binaural when I wasn't because I hadn't set the settings appropriately so that will save you a lot of time and hassle so then you just press record as well twice and that will start recording I will link all the useful information in the description box as well for anybody that's interested. So that would be how you enable this to record the binaural sounds. Now that you have set up all of the equipment, you are ready to start filming. So set up next to a well-lit area. I always use natural light to film, however, if waking up early is not ideal for you, then you can purchase studio lights. But I like to use the morning light because it's nice and warm coloured. After about 11am it tends to turn the subject more grey. If I'm filming myself, then this will be the kind of setup. Though admittedly I do just sit on the floor, but it's entirely your choice. And if I'm filming an object instead, then I would have the camera facing on the object. Make sure if filming binaural recordings that the audio recorder is set up on the correct sides and start filming. It can take and have any of your props that you wish to have in the video by your side so that you're prepared. iPhones and Samsung phones and everything that obviously don't capture binaural. That's the equipment that I use. Minus the iPhone I don't use anymore because I have my camera. Now we'll get on to editing. Now you take your SD card, put it into the slot. My computer likes to make really loud noises. However, this is the editing device that I use personally. I just use a Windows HP laptop to edit. And the editing software that I use and I have used for many years is Premiere Pro FS6. So now, obviously, 
this does come at a price. Uh, the reason I have it is because I studied video editing in college and this was the software of choice that they chose to train yourself on. But there are plenty of free editing softwares available because you really only need the basics. You need to edit out any loud sounds, any unexpected bumps, which I often do because my dog likes to make very inappropriate noises at annoying times. So you would um, just whatever advice. I'm not going to give you a tutorial on how to edit, but you would just select the footage and then you would drag it into the editing area and then just edit accordingly. So, and for more complex things like green screen projects, you would edit it in the normal editing software that you use, and then what I do is pull it into After Effects to place the background in its place, which again I won't show you in this instance because the video will be too long. And then when you're happy with the edited version, then you export it. This always takes quite a bit of time, about an hour or more, especially with longer videos. And then you would upload it to YouTube. It helps if you uh, tag the video so that people can find it. So, I hope this helped you then. If there's any further questions for people that are aspiring to get into making ASMR videos, then comment down below. By no means am I a professional, and um, I'm still learning, and the ASMR community is very welcoming of any grade of video. Right. Okay. So, until next time, I'll see you later.